So when I ordered my new Street Triple, uh, I ordered the official towel bag, and that's what's in this box. So let's use my handy sock to get it out and have a look at it. Okay, so this is the bag. Very, very nice. That's nice quality. Even a little sticker here protecting your badge. And you'll often see this bag in Triumph dealerships, but be careful because uh, it is a specific bag to the Street Triple. And in fact, the part that you want, this is the part that you're looking for. That's the part number you want, A9510572, a quick release or QR tail pack. And in addition, I have the pillion seat which is a direct replacement for the solo race seat that comes as standard and you will need this in order to place this bag on here and under here what I'm expecting is a plate to bolt on here with a little lip and a little lip will go under the passenger grab handle there and then underneath here will be some way to tie on a couple of straps which will enable little kind of uh, fabric loop straps which will enable them to hook into these connectors here and that will hold the bag securely so first we need to get the solo seat off and the key slots in here just underneath the seat and with a turn it pops off and that's what it looks like underneath there's a little USB plug there but not much else uh, in terms of storage, although I'll probably put my copy of my insurance details under there. Uh, always handy, you never know when you might need it. Now that part number is useful because if you go to triumphinstructions.com online and type in the part number A9510572 and then choose your language, it will open up a PDF of instructions of how to install it. So very useful, uh, thanks Triumph. Okay, according to the instructions, um, this tail pack will fit multiple bikes, uh, so it's worth checking the instructions to make sure that the way in which uh, you're trying to fix the straps to your seat is in line with the instructions. Of for the street triple in particular, it says that you must thread the, the strap through the back of the seat. So that means threading this through here, across here and out there on the other side with the webbing uh, ends face down towards the ground. And they're very, very tight. So what I'm finding is I'm having to use an Allen key to help push the push them along without actually puncturing them uh, to get them through. So now I have uh, this strap through the rear of the seat and if I turn over the seat this is what it looks like from the back. It's just two little tabs either side of the, uh, the seat so quite discreet and uh, not going to damage your bodywork. Only thing to do now is uh, put this triumph plate on the base here. You've got two securing uh, positions so you can secure it there or there and we'll put it on the bike and see which one is uh, a best fit okay so that's what the pillion seat looks like in situ and the two little loops that are out the back they'll probably curl up a little bit in time uh, with use so they'll probably look even more out of the way but you can see they're nowhere near the bodywork they're not going to damage the bodywork so there we are, all ready for mini touring or long weekends away. Got the quick release uh, SW Motec magnetic tank bag and the Triumph official tail pack, which I think looks okay. Uh, any luggage obviously makes the bike look uglier than it actually is, but serves a purpose, doesn't it? If you have to go somewhere where you're gonna need waterproofs or clothing for the weekend, change your gloves, all that kind of stuff, you can always put the tail pack on if you want to and it will serve a purpose. Now, hooked underneath the passenger grab rail pretty easily. 
and uh, these are well tucked up out the way they're not going to damage your body work they pull tight and Triumph have thoughtfully put a little elastic here I'm not sure the camera will pick it up maybe slightly more from this side I'm not sure little elastic here so that your strap can be tucked away up there and it's all snickety boo and this is obviously a quick release so you just uh, loosen this strap put it off and you're good to go now one thing I quite like about this bag is the interior because it is if I open it up you will see it is a, a wet bag in effect and it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be it's not massive uh, there's not a huge amount of storage in there but uh, it's enough probably for a set of weekend clothes away and even this top section which is not in a waterproof bag it is in this uh, this cover seems to be waterproof so I think it will generally be pretty waterproof you've got a couple of side pockets here for you know additional keys or credit cards or whatever it is that you want to put in there as well and then you've got a nice little carry handle so when you get to your hotel you get your tank bag off you get your towel pack off and you are good to go and uh, essentially as uh, towel packs go I like it there's no additional bag you've got to put over the top should it rain uh, it's quick release it's made for the bike uh, there's a reasonable amount of storage it doesn't look like it's going to be a problem in terms of uh, my back uh, pushing on my back or anything like that and it is absolutely rock solid and of course it comes off with a pillion seat so technically uh, you don't even really need to take the bag off you can just take the pillion seat off uh, leave it attached uh, leave the bag attached to the pillion seat and then put the race seat back on and you are good to go so that is the official uh, tail bag for the 2023 stroke 24 triumph street triple rs hey you if you want to become one of the right on people don't forget to subscribe right often right carefully right on